everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is a little bit late I didn't expect it to film it this late but what ended up happening was that I did film it prior to this and I just wasn't really happy with the video so I deleted it and I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and film it again so I'm doing that now and it is a little bit late but I still think it's pretty informative so we're gonna be talking about the whole ColourPop butterfly collection and I have all of the items here I just can't like hold them up um, we're just gonna chat about them and swatch them and yeah I hope this is helpful before we get started don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll have it like right here also go ahead and turn on notifications so you guys can be updated every single time I upload and follow me on, I almost forgot follow me on social media I'll have my Instagram right here just to follow me on there and I'll go ahead and follow you back. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is the palette. So this is what it looks like. It comes with 12 shades, and this is a very pink and a purple based palette so if you guys don't like to really play with those colors then i would say stay away from this palette if you're more of like a neutral person then this is probably not the palette for you um like i said it is very purple based so you do have to be comfortable wearing these colors so we have a few mattes up here a few shimmers more mattes um, this is sort of a matte with a little bit of glitter on top. It's really beautiful. I think it's one of my favorite shadows. Um, we do have a pressed glitter, which if you guys already know, I say it in every single one of my videos, just be really careful with pressed glitter because it can uh, potentially be dangerous on your eyes. So I still use it, but... If you're not comfortable using it or you're afraid of it, then I say just skip it and don't use it on your eyes, but... To be completely honest, I really like it, and I've always used glitter on my eyes, and I've been fine, but don't take my word for it. So, just do, do you. <laughs> so, I will show you guys a few swatches of them, and we can go ahead and talk about them. Alright, you guys, so these are all the swatches of the shadows in the palette. We're going to go ahead and start from the beginning, which is the first shade. And this, sorry, my hand's all dirty. And first, we have Just Imagine. And this is a really pretty frosty pink. It's very nice for your eyelid. It's a beautiful shade. Very nice. Then we have Wild Wing. And this is a nice purple matte shadow. It has... A little bit of purple undertone, it's more of a beige color, but definitely very nice and neutral. And I like this as a transition shade as well as the next color, which is made to last. And again, this is a shade that I like to use as a really good transition color. It's pretty neutral, I would say, but it still has a bit of a purplish undertone. Very nice. Then we have this beautiful shade, which is a burgundy with some shimmer. It's called Gotta Fly, and I love this shade for my lid. I think it's an awesome color. It's definitely something that I could use on an everyday basis. So it's really nice, and it's super pigmented. As you can see, all of the shades are really nice and pigmented. They swatch really well, so they're very nice. Okay, so next up we have... The next shadow, which is a, I would say, a very frosted color, and this is called Sun Flare. Um, like I said, it's very frosty. I'm not usually a person that loves frost. This is a nice pink, um, probably something that I wouldn't use on an everyday basis. It has to be something quite special. Next up, we have the Press Glitter, which is called Overpacked, and I do have to say this is my favorite shade of the whole entire palette. I love glitters, and I just think it looks really beautiful. Next up, we have another one of my favorites, which is a matte, but on top, you can see it has a little bit of shimmer. It's beautiful. It looks really nice on your eyelid, and this one is called Mariposa, which is probably the best name for it as well. 
Next up, we have Angel BB, and this is also a really nice neutral color, really good to deepen out your outer corner. Just your typical brown color, really like it. Next up, we have a matte, and this is not as pigmented as the rest of the colors. This is called Lush. It sort of looks like a shimmer, but it goes on like a matte. So not my favorite, not the most pigmented, but it's an okay color. Um, next up, again, a very nice neutral color. This is called Cha Cha Change, I think. Let me check that. Yeah, so this is called Cha Cha Changes, and it's just a nice neutral color. Next up, we have this one, which is a beautiful sort of grayish, purplish color. It's called Getaway, and I really like it. It's very unique. Next up, the deepest color that we have is Float On. Really nice shadow to use as eyeliner, or again, to deepen out your outer corner. So, these are all the shades that you get. As you can see, they're all really nice and pigmented. Yeah, you guys, so these are the colors that you get. Like I said, I always think ColourPop eyeshadows are really good quality. They're really good for the price as well. Like I said, if you're not too much into color, into pinks and purples, then this palette is probably not for you. But if you do like those colors, then definitely give this a try so beautiful i really liked it it's actually what i'm wearing on my eyes today and yeah it's just a really nice kind of change from your everyday neutrals if you guys want to see a tutorial on how i use this palette make sure to give this video a like and that will kind of let me know that you guys want a tutorial on it so that is the palette and then we're gonna go with the super shock shadows if you guys have seen my other color pop um collection reviews you guys know that i really love the super shock shadows i think they're such great quality and i love the texture that they have so this time they came out with four and i have <laughs> i have them all right here so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the lightest shade and i have it right here as you can see it's a really beautiful sort of champagne color again the packaging so cute it's purple with some glitter it's very kind of girly again this is the color it's a beautiful kind of champagne color and i'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys and that is what it looks like and then on my hand it goes on like that so they are shadows that are super, super pigmented, you guys, and they're almost creamy-like. And that's the thing that I love most about them is they're very creamy, yet they don't ever crease. And I've used these multiple times. Like I've said, I've had this collection, I think, for about a month now, and they're really nice. And I'm actually wearing this as a highlight on my cheekbone. Is that what that place is called? I think that's what it's called. And I really like it. It looks really nice very smooth and i think it's just an overall great product i believe the super shock shadows are six dollars so for what you get it's a really good product next up we have another kind of everyday color well an everyday color to me this is like a butterfly again same really beautiful packaging and you open it and that's sort of the color that you get it looks like one of the colors in the palette this is the shade, a really, really pretty kind of, I would say, purplish, brownish color. Really, really nice for the lid. I actually have a little bit of this on my lid right now. I just dabbed a little bit and I really like how it looks. Again, these colors are really kind of me, especially this one. So this is definitely a color that I could rock on an everyday basis. So now we're going to get into the fun colors, I guess you can say. So the next one is called Flying Circus. This is a really gorgeous sort of iridescent color. It's very, very pretty. Um, this is sort of what it looks like. It has a lot of sparkle in it. Um, I don't know. Too, let me swatch it with you guys so that is what it looks like it has a ton of blue speckles and I don't know if the camera is sort of catching it but it's very very interesting it's not a shadow that you would wear on an everyday basis it's definitely like a really true lilac but again it has sort of blue sparkle and it looks really gorgeous I'm actually maybe I'll do a tutorial using this one next because this is a very special color I think and there's nothing really similar to that 
in the palette. Um, next up, we have a really fun color, and this is called Ringlet, and this is sort of the brightest color of the four, kind of a true, like, purplish pink, sort of, really nice. Let me saw it one more time. So look at all those shadows. Look how beautiful they all look. Like I said, these have amazing pigmentation and they look so nice and creamy on your lid. They don't look like cakey or anything like that. It's just really good quality eyeshadows. So if I recommend anything with this whole collection, it would definitely be the Super Shock shadows. Now, they also came out with jelly shadows, I think they're called. I have them right here. Let me just grab them real quick and these are called the yeah the jelly much shadow they come in their own little box and let's go ahead and try to open this thing these boxes are always super hard open and to be completely honest you guys i'm not the biggest fan of jelly shadows i feel like they crease a lot i feel like i don't know i'm not I'm not the biggest fan I haven't actually tried these on my eyes but I I don't know I don't know what to say I can't say all right they're really really messy so this is a really kind of frosted white color with a ton of shimmer um I guess let's swatch it looks really pretty on the finger I don't know how awesome that would be on your lid um i'm assuming this would probably crease oh that looks gorgeous actually that's really really pretty that's really nice oh oh i'm convinced now i really like them they do seem a little bit messy i don't know how well they would like hold on your eye but they they do look really nice and this is called buttercup so it's is this one called Buttercup? Yeah, okay, my bad. So this one's called Buttercup, and the next one is the one that is called... Oh, my nail almost broke. I can't open this. Okay, I'm tearing out the box. I know it's so pretty, but I have to tear it out. All right, the, ooh, this is really pretty. All right, so this is the shade that is called Bouquet, and... The packaging is a little bit different from the shadows. Um, so as you can see, they have a different sort of color, um, a lighter a lighter shade. And I will say these are $8. So two more dollars than the Super Shock shadows. And again, I will say they're really messy. It's very messy. This is basically what it looks like. Let's swatch it. I like how they swatch I just this is the color I just don't know how they would actually look on your eye okay so this one's not that pigmented mm, this is sort of the shade um you know what let's let's put some on okay let's just let's try it out like let's see I know my shadow is really pretty right now okay um they're not bad they add a lot of glitter to your eye oh that's really pretty actually oh it's really pretty it kind of just puts more glitter onto your eye i don't know how long it would last but it does look really really pretty I don't know if you guys can sort of tell, but they're pretty. I would give them a try. Um, this is more of if you want to experiment more with makeup. I don't feel like it's a product that you absolutely need. Like I said, jelly shadows can be sort of scary, to say the least. Um, because, you know, they are cream shadows, so they are... You know, they do have a tendency to crease. But, again, if you like to have fun with makeup, then... By all means, go for it. 
All right, and next up we have probably one of the best things in this collection. I keep saying like the best thing and the best thing, but I just really do like ColourPop collections. So we have this little set right here that comes with five cream lipsticks. Is what they're called? Luxe lipstick set. And the set is called Come Fly With Me. And these are so pretty, you guys. I definitely recommended like i said it comes with five we're gonna go ahead and start off with the first sh uh shade which is actually my favorite one i think i've been wearing this for i don't know a pretty long time you guys and yeah i don't know if you guys can tell but i've been wearing it for a while and it's just such a beautiful natural color it's just my everyday sort of shade and also look how cute the packaging is you guys i just really like having this on it's really fun and i'll go ahead and just swatch it for you guys so that is what it looks like again this is called bloom to bloom very natural shade kind of an everyday color that i would just reach for every day this actually lives in my handbag and next up we have oasis and again same packaging this is more of a pinkier shade I would say definitely pinkier definitely brighter again I keep saying again and again but I just want to tell you guys that this is a very pink and purple based collection um, as you guys can see from the packaging everything's purple everything's pink so it's always always going to be based around those colors so again this is a pretty bright color um this is more of a shade that I would probably rock during the spring maybe or sort of dab it during the spring just because i don't like super dark lips or like super bright lips yeah i prefer dark than bright and that's more of a bright shade next up we have virgo moon which is my second favorite it's actually the one that i'm wearing today it's really really pretty let me put a little bit more just for you guys and i love hey that they're a really nice formula they're very very creamy which is great um i do have to say that make sure you exfoliate your lips if you have dry lips exfoliate them before you apply this lipstick because if your lips are really dry and like flaky it will catch on that and it will kind of just how do i say it it would just show more i guess it just accentuates it yeah that's kind of the word i was looking for i think and um so make sure you exfoliate you moisturize and then go ahead and put on your lipstick they won't be drying it's not a drying product it's actually really nice it's actually really nice and it's nice to just reapply so i think that's why i like lipstick so much sometimes it's because it's just an easy kind of to reapply and everything so this is the color let me swatch it for you guys this is more of a darker natural shade i want to say it does have a lot of like beige like purple based in it but as you can see it's much darker than bloom to bloom very nice i feel like it's a very kind of 90s shade it looks like all right so next up we have the slow dance and here we just get a little bit into the darker shades so this is what this one looks like i haven't wore it out but it looks gorgeous it just looks freaking amazing you guys and that is the shade and if we swatch it we just get a beautiful color i can't even describe it it's just a really nice kind of deep brown color with like a hint of purple i don't think the camera is even doing it justice but it's so freaking gorgeous i'm really excited to use that actually i should start using it right Finish it. All right, so next up we have a Come On Clover, and I guess this would be like the darkest color of them, but I don't think it's the the darkest. I don't know. It just swatches differently. I think. Yeah, it swatches like way brighter. This is more of like the shade that I was wearing on my last video, the Becky G collection. It looked a lot like the lipstick that I was wearing. In that video and there you go it just looks way darker in the packaging but once you swatch it it's a brighter purple shade so yeah you guys that's pretty much it for this video 
really recommend all these things. Um, I forget how much the lipsticks were, so I'm sorry. I think the whole set for the lipstick was, I want to say 20 maybe or 18. I'm not sure. But they are a really good um, deal. All of the things are really nice quality and if you like butterflies just go ahead and buy it so again you guys if you do like this video and you want to see a tutorial on how i use these products just go ahead and give this video a like and that is pretty much it you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on my next video